You know, back in the day, styling and pickup trucks just didn't go together. But today, they do. Styling does matter, and GMC really stepped it up. It's been about seven years since they've redesigned the Sierra. So what they've done is they made a, a bigger grill, they've raised the hood, given it a massive new hood with a nice indentation. It's just designed to look more rugged. If you compare this to the Silverado, it's a little more squared off. I'd like to think that GMC kind of picked up where Hummer left off. You know, Hummer had to had to be discontinued. Something's got to fulfill that, you know, professional grade kind of industrial look. And I think GMC is doing it. That rugged styling you see in the grille and hood of the Sierra is also prominent in the fenders and the wheel wells. You could see these really tough, squared off looking indentations. Uh, you see the squared off looking wheel well. Again, reminds me of, of Hummer a lot. Now, coming back here, one thing they've done to improve the aerodynamics is actually include sort of a spoiler back here as opposed to just having a standard uh, tailgate. They actually have a little spoiler. They've added dampeners. So when you let it down, you're not going to have the slamming down effect. And to get into the bed of your truck easier, you've got these, uh, these little steps built into the bumpers. These are very handy. This is a really good looking truck. And uh, I really think it's going to set uh, Ford, Toyota, and Ram on notice. Pickup truck owners are more concerned with fuel economy today than ever before. So. GM has done certain things to make the vehicle lighter and make it more fuel efficient. For example, this hood is made of aluminum. That saves you 25 pounds. Now, under the hood, you have three completely new engines, even though the displacements are the same. A 4.3 liter V6, a 5.3 liter V8, and a 6.2 liter V8. What we have here is the 4.3 liter V6 made it to a six-speed automatic transmission. You get 285 horsepower, when you move up to the V8, you get 355 horsepower. Now, fuel economy is a combined 16 city, 23 highway for the V8, 18 city, 25 highway for the V6. These new engines from General Motors are known as Ecotech 3 because they have three new technologies to help you save gas. The first is direct injection. Next, you have variable valve timing. And finally, you have active fuel management, which helps cut down the number of cylinders when not needed. For example, when you're driving that V8 on the highway and you're just cruising along, it cuts down to just four cylinders, turning your V8 into a V4. The inside of a pickup truck has come a long way. As you can see, now you have apps, you have these big, bold, industrial type buttons, automatic climate control, dual zone, steering wheel, you have the nice recess buttons. You also have controls in the back for volume and changing your, your stations all new gauges, uh, mentioned the USB ports. GMC really focused on how these trucks are being used, whether it's on the job site or the weekends, hauling your boat, and they focused on making it a more pleasant interior and a more functional one. The Sierra is available in numerous configurations, certainly too many to talk about in this video. You have two bed lengths, one is five foot eight inches, the other is six foot six inches. You have a regular cab and a crew cab, and this is what's known as an extra cab. It's hard to imagine that in 2001, there were zero percent General Motors crew cabs. Today, they account for over 60 percent. Now, since this is just the extra cab, and this is the one we've been driving around all week, I could tell you, I can understand why more people want to buy crew cabs. When you look at this second row, it's almost useless. There's almost no leg room and it becomes a storage area for all your stuff, which is how I've been using it all week. Our test vehicle is a Z71 4x4 with V6 and cloth seats. I certainly got a big shock when I looked at the price at almost $42,500. Now, of course, in the pickup truck world, it's all about getting big discounts and incentives, and General Motors is no exception, and you would think with cloth seats that they could do a little better on the pricing, so we expect some heavy incentives on this, as well as all pickup trucks in the market today. So this is the V6, and it's definitely a little sluggish, and it doesn't quite get the fuel economy you would expect, uh, considering you have to compromise with a smaller engine. By comparison, you look at the Ram 1500, they're actually offering a six-cylinder diesel that is a much better performing vehicle from a towing, hauling, and fuel economy standpoint. Nevertheless, uh, you know, let's talk about what's important. Very maneuverable pickup truck. It's great around the job site. It feels solid on the freeway. It's a little bit noisy because, of, because it's, 
it's working so hard to accelerate uh, the vehicle, but uh, you know, but overall, it, it's it's a great ride. The steering feels good. What we really love is the interior. The instrumentation is clear. It's it's vivid. It's bold. You have this uh, information screen between uh, the tack and speedometer. That's almost four inches. It's very vivid. Of course, you have your infotainment screen, one of the best in the, in the industry, huge buttons, uh, very industrial feeling. And again, this is where GMC wants to be. They want to be known as the professional grade pickup truck, and I think they've, uh, they've accomplished that. In my opinion, GMC had three areas they needed to address in order to meet the demands of pickup truck owners today. The first was styling. They needed to update the styling, refresh it, and they did a great job. From the grill to the tailgate, it's a whole new truck. It looks great, it drives great. Next were the engines. The old engines were, let's just say, old. Old technology, not very fuel efficient. These new engines, much better. Three new engines, great fuel economy, and I think most owners are gonna be very happy with that. And finally, the interior. This is the most important part. So many owners complained about how cheap the old interior was, so they stepped it up by having real aluminum, five USB ports. They have apps, Bluetooth, new steering wheel, new gauges, new seats. Everything has been updated. In my opinion, one of the best interiors in the pickup truck segment. So there you have it, the 2014 GMC Sierra, professional grade.